With a loyal and independent personality, the Carolina dog is a rare medium-sized breed occasionally found feral in southeastern United States, especially in isolated stretches of longleaf pines and cypress swamps. They look an awful lot like the Australian Dingo and are sometimes called the American Dingo, Dixie Dingo, Yellow Dog, or the Yaller Dog because of their southern roots. Just recently discovered in the wild, Carolina dogs are still not a fully domesticated breed. However, these wild dog qualities blend together into a loving, cooperative, and protective companion. Carolina dogs are self-sufficient, intelligent, and pack-oriented, making them crave togetherness and family time above everything else. If you're looking for a canine that is gentle, loyal, primitive, and reserved, then the Carolina dog can be an ideal breed for you. Now without further ado, let's dive right into our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Carolina dog. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Carolina dog owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these amazing dogs from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their Origin and History The history of the Carolina dog is immensely fascinating. Seen as a semi-wild creature, Carolina dogs are considered a land race and primitive breed. This means they evolved naturally through adaptation in their natural environment. Discovered in the American South, Carolina dogs are believed to have descended from Asian pariah dogs brought to North America across the Bering Strait 9,000 years ago. Some historians have noted that the bone structure of these dogs resembles the dog bones found in American Indian burial sites. These guys are thought to have originated from the ancient dogs owned by Native Americans that were discovered in South Carolina less than 50 years ago. Their written history began recently when Dr. Pam Brisbane of South Carolina found a small puppy in a dump and brought it home. The Brisbane family soon realized that their new puppy Horace was not like other dogs. Her husband, Dr. Eiler Brisbane, who worked in a laboratory at the time, tested the dog's DNA and made the shocking discovery that it did not share the DNA of other breeds of modern dogs. The conclusion was made that the Carolina dog was truly a descendant of genuinely primitive canines. Number 2 their establishment and recognition. The population of Carolina dogs in the wild was closely studied and it was found that they adapted to family life relatively well, although still possessing several unwanted traits of wild dogs such as dominance and potential for aggression. Since 1996, these canines were registered with the United Kennel Club, which published a detailed formal Carolina dog breed standard, putting them under the Sight Hound and Pariah group. A breed standard has also been issued by the American Rare Breed Association, which includes the Carolina Dog in their Group 5, along with the Canaan Dog. In July 2017, the American Kennel Club accepted the Carolina Dog Breeding Program into its Foundation Stock Service. In the AKC, Foundation Stock Breed are not eligible for actual registration. Usually, there are simply too few of them for the AKC to determine breed standards. AKC has listed these dogs under their Hound Group. While the popularity of the Carolina dog is increasing in households due to industrialization and the loss of unoccupied space, their wild population, however, is steadily declining. Number 3. Their Appearance Naturally slim, Carolina dogs are medium-sized, strong yet graceful, measuring 18 to 20 inches at the shoulder and typically weighing 35 to 55 pounds. Their muzzle and head are triangular in shape and the muzzle blends into the face almost seamlessly. Their nose is dark black with wide open nostrils. Their eyes are brown, almond-shaped, and expressive. They have a narrow chest and tucked-in belly, while their legs are long and their paws moderately large. The ears are characteristically erect and moderately slender, tapering way up to elegantly pointed tips. Both the Carolina dog's bushy, hooked tail and their long ears are known for being incredibly expressive and will change position and move according to the mood of the animal. The coat color can vary from light yellow to a deep ginger and may have pale markings in places such as the muzzle. Well, overall, Carolina dogs have a ruggedly handsome look. Number 4. Their personality and temperament Despite their recent domestication, Carolina dogs are quite intelligent and resourceful. They do, however, harbor mistrust towards strangers, and it is critical that they are adequately socialized. Not automatically aggressive, they will likely try to avoid people they don't know. The breed is eager to please but has a stubborn personality. They can adapt to a lot of environments as long as they have some company and get plenty of physical activity and regular exercise. It is important to know that these dogs were not necessarily bred to get along with people. For this reason, these guys are actually quite reserved and independent. However, they can get along quite well with people when socialized early because at the end of the day, their behavior is friendly and pack-oriented. Once they warm up to a person, they can be extremely loyal. If socialized well, Carolina dogs will bond well with their family and can make affectionate pets. Number 5. Carolina Dogs and Children 
These dogs are not particularly great with children, but they are not too bad either. Early socialization is important to ensure that they are accepting of a toddler's loud mischief. If socialized properly, they can warm up to children quickly and can be quite protective. As pack animals, they will often consider their family's children as part of their pack. They can be quite gentle and loyal. Carolina dogs have the independent quality that makes them love the outdoors. In fact, the breed needs a lot of open spaces to be happy and maximize its longevity. Playing with children, especially outdoors, lets them burn off the large amount of energy that they have and keeps them both happy and healthy. Number 6. They're observant and great at hunting Although not suitable for law enforcement duties just yet, due to their natural streak of independence, Carolina dogs are natural searchers and hunters since it is necessary for them to survive in the wild. But the good news is, now that they've been discovered, they can be bred to become more domesticated and be made to use their instincts to help in search and rescue efforts or as tracking dogs. The recent hunting history suggests that their prey drive remains high and a proper care must be taken when outdoors or when smaller animals are around. Not surprisingly, these guys make a natural watchdog. Observant and alert, they are quick to inform their owner of any intruder. Number 7. Female Carolina Dogs Make Snout Pits These interesting canines are also known for their unique behavior, one of which is an activity of making snout pits that can leave a backyard looking like it has been overrun by gophers. There's no evidence that the dogs are eating something at the bottom of the pit, like insects or a mineral, but it has been observed that 98% of females create these depressions in the dirt between September and January, leading to speculation that it is a hormone or pregnancy-related activity. Carolina dogs also use their snouts, not their back feet, to bury their waist by covering it with sand. These dogs circle the pile of feces as they do, and they push sand on top of it with their nose. Number 8. Their trainability and exercise needs Carolina dogs are eager to please, and they may or may not respond to treat training. While certainly intelligent, this is a difficult dog to teach and one that requires a skilled trainer to overcome their independence. And always remember, they can be notoriously stubborn. Training must be consistent and firm, as established and reinforced by the human pack leader, but not aggressive and harsh, because Carolina dogs can become timid if chastised and they may eventually refuse to cooperate. Training for dog sports like agility, obedience, and rally can be a great way to give this breed the exercise they need. All training and socialization should start early as possible so that they can excel in competitive activities. Number 9. Their Grooming and Maintenance The Carolina dog's coat usually comes in a variety of colors that include cream, tan, black, brown, and red. They are typically a combination of two or more of these colors. Many describe their coat as wolf-like. They have a short and dense double coat that sheds moderately. These guys also tend to keep themselves clean much like cats do, so just minimal grooming is enough for them. Only moderate maintenance, such as brushing their coat about once a week to remove debris and dirt, and occasional bathing and nail trimming may be necessary. Number 10. Their Health Carolina dogs are extremely healthy. They can live as long as 15 years, far longer than most other dogs, partly because they don't have any genetic predispositions. A minor concern, however, may include hip and elbow dysplasia. Recent studies have shown that the Carolina dog breed may be sensitive to ivermectin, an ingredient found in mite and heartworm medication. When it comes to treating them, discuss this with your vet before administering any anti-parasitic medications. Alright guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Carolina dog. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these intelligent and resourceful dogs, let us know about them in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts and different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.